concern, oh, the anti-Semitism thing? Yeah. You know, when you have no argument, then you start calling people names. I mean, not you, but that's what people do. When there's no argument, they start calling people names. Okay, you're an idiot. Okay, now, can we go back to the topic? Can you explain to me why it's okay for an Israeli soldier to shoot a pal to execute a Palestinian on the ground who never did anything wrong to begin with and should not have been shot to begin with? Explain this to me, you know. Can you explain to me why Palestinians are denied water? Can you explain to me why two million people, or nearly two million people in Gaza, on a regular basis as a policy, are subjected to massacres? Massacre after massacre, where thousands of innocent civilians die, and the ones that don't die remain there without access to, to proper health care. That's how you deal with it. The only reason they use anti-Semitism and all oh, self-hating and all these other you know stupid uh, names is because you, they have no they have no they have no argument. They want to steer away from talking about the issue. So they say anti-Semitism, and a lot of people are offended when they're called anti-Semites, you know. But the thing is, like Helena said, you get over it and you go back to the issue. Okay, let's assume I'm anti-Semitic. Can you explain this to me, though? Because if, if opposing Israeli policies is anti-Semitic, if opposing Israel is racist, what do you call people who support this monstrosity? What do you call yourself for supporting this? An entire nation is standing behind a soldier, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, the soldier who executed... And now, the, 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 the guy that was on the ground never did anything. He did not attack. He is not a terrorist. He did not attack the soldiers. Not that I think that attacking soldiers is terrorism, but he was not a terrorist. He did nothing wrong. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He had his hands up, and he was shot to the ground. Israeli ambulances drove right around him, knowing full well he had no, there was no threat. They're saying, oh, maybe he's got explosives. They knew that he didn't have explosives because he was checked. And I mean, he was just there. And then this young soldier shows up on the scene. He stops and speaks to an officer. It's very clear in the video. He tends this officer his helmet so his hands are free, walks up with his gun, shoots him in the head while the officer is looking. So he was either obeying an order or he had consent to do what he did. And he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. And most people don't in Israel. And he first you know? That's somebody else is asking. Somebody else on the video is saying, oh, this dog is still alive. That's one, of the, that's one of the paramedics. That's one of the paramedics saying, this dog is still alive. So that is the reality. So if, you, if, so if, if opposing this is anti-Semitism, I'm perfectly fine with being anti-Semitic. But what do you call people who support this? What do you call a person who supports this kind of policy? And this just happened to come out because somebody took a video.